Hi, this is Chad Desern, and I'm the studio director at Insomniac's North Carolina studio. And this is your first look at Ratchet and Clank All for One. We knew uh, when we started out that we wanted to let people play Ratchet and Clank together. And from there, it was a short leap to including Captain Quark and Dr. Nefarious. We really like the makeup of this group because these are four characters who don't always like each other. Quark's a bubbling idiot, Nefarious is evil, so there's tons of comic potential and tension with this group. And that really mirrors the way we play uh, the game together in the office. There's a ton of spite and competitiveness along with the co-op. One thing that you'll notice right off the bat is that we have a new camera type in this game. This is a director style camera, which works well to let us keep all four characters on screen. And it's also great for really framing views. We're, we're able to show off our alien worlds in ways that we've always wanted to with this camera type. This is a new gadget called the Vacu 4000. And this comes in really handy for throwing your friends across chasms. Um, but you have to be careful and you really need to know who your friends are when you use this. This is a creature called a Voltergeist and it's used to power up things in the world. Uh, players toss it back and forth and throw it into generators to make things work. And here's more gameplay with another Voltergeist challenge. Now we're ramping up the difficulty just a little bit and requiring an extra pass to get it to the generator. So I want to talk a little bit about weapons in Ratchet and Clank All for One. Uh, weapons have always been the focal point of the Ratchet series and All for One is no different. Uh, our weapons are all about co-op. They're really uh, weapons that are powerful when you use them together with the team. So you can get a base function as an individual, but you get the really devastating great effects when you work together with your friends. And this is kind of an early level weapon called the Elastishock that everybody's using right now. This is a co-op mechanic called the Cluster Cannon. And here, uh, players are racing to be the first person to charge it up, but they're, they're also working together to make it work. Here we are again, back in the high cliffs of Planet Magnus. Uh, some classic gadgets are making a return in All for One. The swing shot's one of them. But as you can see here, it's got a new co-op twist. With Ratchet & Clank All for One, we're, we're, we're trying to make a game that you can just pick up and play uh, whenever you want to. You know, it's really easy to drop in and drop out uh, to get a game going with your friends. If they're on the couch next to you, or even if they're in another place entirely, we support both online and offline co-op. Uh, we also support any number of players one to four. So while we're emphasizing the four player game here, you can also play with one player, you can play with a two player group, you can play with a three player group. Really, we support any configuration of friends who you happen to have around at any given time. For the one player game, we still want the experience to feel like you're working with a team, so we let you choose uh, an AI companion. And that AI companion will work hard to help you, you know, to make sure that the game emphasizes team play and not really get in your way. Here, Quark and Nefarious are using a co-op move called a Mortar Slam. So here, Quark is throwing Clank into the air. Um, Clank can execute a powerful special attack when he's at the apex of his jump. So if players use skill and use this together, they can get some, some really big uh, effects in game. So we've structured the game to allow uh, for some spaces in the action to just sit back and, and really enjoy the world uh, together with your friends. You know, it's, it's, it's action packed, but every once in a while we want to give players just a little pause to take a look at their environment and, and kind of get a sense of how big the world that we've made is. Some of our enemies in All for One require you to really assess the play field and work together to take them out. You know, here Quark, uh, who's an idiot, just kind of charged into battle without really paying attention to where he was, and, and he paid the price for it. Ready to suck. Ready, pal? 
As you work together, you earn co-op points that give you access to a special thing that we're going to announce in the near future. Here's a big enemy called a tank minion. We, we actually don't think of this guy as, as a boss as much as he's just a, a pretty big enemy. We have a little bit of both in the game. talk a little bit about the story in Ratchet and Clank All for One. Um, Dr. Nefarious launches an evil scheme to defeat Ratchet and Clank once and for all. That scheme doesn't go exactly as planned, and he ends up uh, capturing the attention uh, of a vast and mysterious machine called the Creature Collector. That machine abducts uh, Ratchet, Clank, Quark, and Nefarious and they, they wake up uh, actually bound together on an alien planet. And the game is really about uh, this, this group of four uh, unlikely allies working together uh, begrudgingly and against their will to find their way off the planet and back across the galaxy. I'm ready. Ready. Whoa. This is a co-op wind tunnel mechanic, and here our, our players need to join hands to make their way uh, back up the wind tunnel. And this is much easier said than done. All together now, move! This uh, mechanic probably results uh, in us like punching each other in the arm more than just about anything else as we play through in the office. Watch out, everyone. More enemies are approaching. I will help you, Ratchet. Here we're giving players another chance to sit back and survey the play field and, and work together to, uh, to take out cover minions. How do you work this thing again? Just charging ahead to kill enemies rarely uh, is an effective strategy in this game. Hey, get away from my pal! I'm ready. 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 There are times when divide and conquer is uh, a strategy that works, and, and we give each player a, a set of uh, core moves that support that. So everybody's got a blaster, everybody has melee. You know, Ratchet uses his Omni Wrench, Clank uses Clank 2, Quark uses his Fists of Justice, and Nefarious uses his Annihilator Blades. But for the bigger enemies, everybody's gonna have to work together. So this guy's in an armored state, so he's impervious to traditional fire. Here players are going to have to use the mortar slam to take out his shield. Now that his shields are down, he's vulnerable. That's your first look at Ratchet and Clank All for One. It's the first cooperative Ratchet and Clank title. And we're all working hard to finish this up and we're really excited about what we've got going on right now. Thanks. Here comes Commander Spog again and we'll, we'll have to deal with him later.